Hi everyone, are y'all ready to talk about cotton? Um, this week on Farm Day Adventures, we're gonna be covering cotton, which is grown in North Carolina and all around the world and how important it is in our lives. We encourage you to go back and check out corn and potatoes, the additions that we've done of Farm Day Adventures where you can learn more about how important those crops are to North Carolina. And then, and then in the coming weeks, we will continue to look at other different crops. Um, so there is a handout that goes along with this that y'all are welcome to follow along with if you'd like, but let's jump right in. We are going to talk about the uses of cotton, and then we are going to specifically learn about the growth stages of cotton. Um, we're going to do that by actually painting the stages of cotton using cotton balls and cotton swabs. So for that, you're going to need uh, paper, cotton ball, cotton swab, and then I have brown, yellow, green, red, and white paint, as well as clothespins. So let's jump right in. Okay, so cotton is grown here in North Carolina, but it's also grown all around the world. Um, and you can see in this first fact, cotton is produced um, all over the world and is the most important and most used fiber um, in all of the world. So when we think about cotton, we typically associate it with, with clothing. So I'm, I'm thinking about right now, I have on an undershirt here, blue jeans, socks, all made from cotton. Um, and there's also plenty of household items. Paige has already mentioned cotton bowls, cotton swabs, um, bed sheets, towels, washcloths, there's so many things um, that, that cotton is made out of. So in North Carolina alone, we grow about 1 million bales of cotton every year. So we've talked about in previous videos in the corn video, um, for, for grains, they're measured in units of bushels. Um, but for cotton, we measure in units of pounds um, and we call it, call it bales. So one cotton bale weighs about 480 to 500 pounds. Um, and typically out of one cotton bale, we can get about 200 and 20 blue jeans, just to give you an idea of how much cotton we produce in North Carolina. So like I said, cotton fibers are used for clothing, uh, but that's not the only thing we get from cotton. We also get oils and we use it for livestock feed. So the cotton seed, um, we, they crush that and make it into an oil form that's used for all kinds of cooking. Um, so preparing crackers, cookies, chips, and it's also used in salad dressings. Um, and then for livestock feed, so farmers feed their cattle cotton seed. Um, they grind up the cotton seed into what we call mill, and it's used for poultry and fish. And they also can get fertilizer from cotton seed. Very interesting. So we're gonna now kind of jump into the painting activity. So I've started here with just the four stages that we're going to paint um, the cotton development. So, and the first one, we're just looking at a small bud and Dylan can tell more about that stage. I have, um, I'm probably gonna use kind of both the cotton ball and the Q-tip just to grab a little bit of uh, green and yellow paint and create a little bud. All right, so in North Carolina, farmers are ramping up to plant cotton. Um, so typically we plant cotton in maybe around the end of April if it's warm enough, but typically the month of May is, is the month that we plant cotton. Um, so around week five uh, is where, when we first start to see the reproductive growth on a cotton plant. Um, we call that, it starts with a flower and bud and we call it a square. Um, so it starts out and you can see that first picture there um, so just a small, uh, a small vegetative piece of growth. You can see it's, it's surrounded by leaves. Uh, I think Paige is yeah. already finished with her square here. This doesn't have to be beautiful, y'all. It's just for learning, but something like that. Just basically a little bud is the first stage. Yeah, so the first stage. And then, so around week eight um, to 10, the next thing that we see on the cotton plant that that cotton square turns into what we call a flower or cotton bloom. Um, you can see this here at the bottom picture. Um, so typically those squares, they turn into these, it, well, it turns into a white flower first. Um, it's interesting, cotton plants, they pollinate their own flowers. Um, and that takes about three days for that to happen. And then the, after it's pollinated, that, that flower will turn 
um, start to turn pinkish. And uh, eventually that flower is going to dry up and it's going to fall off the plant. And then on the next slide, we're going to talk about what that turns into. And Paige is really okay. working fast. I whipped up my little flower here. So on, I've drawn on one side the pink bloom. And then um, as it matures, it turns white, like Dylan said. So when you're driving through the fields, um, or when you're driving through North Carolina and you see those pink blooms or the white blooms, you can be able to tell your parents that you know um, what that means as far as cotton maturity. So we can head into the next step. Okay, so next, um, so after, after that flower has fallen off, the next thing that's going to be that, in that spot is what we call an immature bowl. Um, so that's where the cotton is going to grow and develop in that bowl. Um, it takes several weeks for uh, for that bowl to develop and I have this little picture down here it's pretty neat and uh, kind of just goes in clockwise fashion so it starts there um, with the cotton square and you can see how it slowly turns into that white bloom and then it turns pink and then the, that bowl the immature bowl it grows uh, over time and then uh, by the end of the season when the that cotton is mature it starts to crack open um, and then soon after farmers will be harvesting and you can see um, there in that picture the the white the fluffy lint coming out of that bowl okay so i've done just the third stage right now and that's a, the the immature cotton bowl is just really really hard but as it starts starts to dry out is when the cotton fluff and you can think of what what you have in a cotton ball to resemble that fluff now this last stage of the painting is really my favorite because you get to use um, the cotton ball attached to the clothespin, just dab some white paint on it, you can't really see there, and just go crazy on your paper, just dab it around to create the ball. Um, as I finish that up, Dylan, do you wanna tell them what they do with that mature cotton bud or bowl? Sure, so uh, we typically harvest, we're harvesting cotton in the month of September, October, um, so the farmers are harvesting all that lint in the field. Um, and then it goes to the next stage is, uh, to a cotton gin. And I'm sure you've heard of this. Um, I think one of our questions at the end of the video is who invented the cotton gin. So maybe you can look that up on your own. Um, I think it was around the late 1700s when they, when they invented the cotton gin, where they, uh, mechanically separate the, the seed from the lint, um, and so I have some pictures here on this slide. So that top picture there, I mentioned earlier, um, those 500 pound bales of cotton. Uh, and you can see there, uh, that's a, a cotton warehouse. So they, they've ginned the cotton, um, they have it in the, into the bale form. And from there, that cotton goes all over the world. Um, so it goes to textile mills where they start to make clothing and uh, so many other things there. Um, and then we got, so these next two pictures, I talked about how the seed is used for, for livestock feed. So you can see the cattle um, feeding on, that's just raw seed there. So straight from the from the gin, they um, they feed that to cows. It's really high in protein, cattle, cattle love it. Um, and then that bottom picture is that cotton seed ground up uh, that they use for um, feed for poultry and for fish. All right, so just to review, um, we're going to talk about the growth stages of cotton. Um, so to as a reminder, we have uh, stage one is the cotton square, which is just the bud. It blossoms into the cotton bloom, which first starts pink and then turns white. Um, the cotton bowl is immature and hard, and then it dries out and blooms into the cotton, um, a mature cotton bowl. Um, so just some questions. How many pairs of jeans can be produced from one bale of cotton and who invented the cotton gin? Um, we appreciate y'all joining us for this, for this cotton edition. Um, we hope that you recognize that cotton is all around you and how important it is to the North Carolina economy. Um, and I hope that you learned about the different growth and development stages of cotton. We will see you next time. Thanks. See ya.